Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Design Creativity and Technology Channel. My name's Aaron. Today, I'd like to talk to you about spindle warm-up routine. The three things I'd like to cover. So one, what is a spindle warm-up routine? Two, why are they used? Three, how do you actually write one? So simply guys, a spindle warm-up routine is a program which consists of a line or blocks of code that tell your CNC machine what to do and how to do it. Now it's a very simple program to write, okay? And these lines of code will turn on the spindle, hold and maintain that RPM for a set amount of time called a dwell cycle before it moves on to the next line of code. So why do we use a spindle warm-up routine? They're used guys to warm up your spindle, to bring the bearings, the grease and everything up to temperature before you actually start cutting chips. So let's put it this way. If your car's been parked overnight, would you jump in it, start the motor while it's cold and lay a massive burnout? I don't think so. You'd, you'd, you'd want the oil to come up to uh, operating temperature first before you actually start doing some serious uh, driving, all right? Same with your CNC machine, guys. You need to let that spindle warm up. I'd say anywhere between 10 and 20 minutes, okay? Let it, uh, everything start to normalize before you start cutting chips. Okay, so how do you write a spindle warm-up routine? Let's jump over to the computer and uh, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to write this program and then we'll come back and we'll install it into the machine and actually run it. Let's go. Now the first thing you'll need to do is to open Notepad on your PC. Uh, save that file immediately to your USB stick and call it uh, O2020 Spindle Warmer. Click Save. When you first start typing your G-code guys, uh, write that program number up the top, then use brackets or what's called parentheses. Now your G-code will ignore anything in a bracket guys. And you can see here that I've put a little explanation about what you need to do with this. So this is uh, run this program before machining. Now first thing I'm going to do is put a tool in the spindle. So I've caught up a tool change and then I've told the spindle to go to 500 RPM, M03, turn it on. G04 is a dwell cycle, guys. Now notice that it's in seconds, so that's dictated to by an X. So X100 means 100 seconds. Then it's a matter of just uh, continuing on down the track there. You can see I've gone from 500 to 1000 to 2500 to 5000, 7500. Uh, dwelling after each one of those spindle commands, you can see that to the final one of 10,000 RPM. Uh, like I said, G04 is a dwell cycle, uh, 100 seconds and M30 to stop. Uh, save your program. So, we've written the program, we've saved it onto our USB stick. Now let's head on over to the sole machine, plug it in the controller and get the program off this USB stick into the memory of the LNC controller. Now you would have noticed that when I wrote this program that I commanded a tool change and I put in my shell mill, 50 mil shell mill. Now guys, there's pros and cons about this. Some people are for it, some people are against it. I personally uh, don't like to spin the spindle up without it being clamped. I don't think it's good practice. Um, the trainers who trained me originally with the Haas machine said you shouldn't spin it without a tool in the thing, in the spindle. So guys, uh, now there's arguments for and against that, like I was saying. So one of the arguments is if you put a tool in a cold spindle, thermal growth will lock it in there or jam. Guys, I've been CNC machining for numerous years now and I've never had that happen to me. I'm not saying that it can't happen, but it hasn't happened to me. I always like to run that spindle with a tool in it. I don't like to spin it free, unclamped. I don't think it's good practice. Okay, enough said. Let's head on over to the controller. Let's run this program. Come on.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes today's video. I trust you got something out of it, and I'd really appreciate your like, subscribe, and of course, feel free to leave a comment down below for me. Uh, big thank you to the video sponsor today, ChipX. Um, for those that don't know ChipX, guys, based in New Zealand, they sell high-end tooling and work holding solutions, uh, everything you need for your CNC machine. Now, before we go, guys, if you would like to learn more about CNC machining, why not uh, head on over to my Facebook page? It's called Design, Creativity and Technology Solutions. Uh, simply go to search, type in DCT Solutions AU, and it will take you straight there. Uh, check the services and offers, guys. I'm offering uh, boutique uh, hands-on CNC classes. Now, very small numbers, one-on-one -on -one, uh, or two-on-one. -on -one. Now, that's a little bit cheaper if you bring a friend, but check it out. Everything's up there, guys. It's a three-day course where you'll actually learn Fusion 360, you'll learn some parametric modeling, how to do top-down design, some joints, into cam, how to cam a part. Then we go over to the machine and we actually make a part that you take home for your very self. Thanks again for joining, guys. Please subscribe, click that bell, and you'll get my next notification. See you on the next video. Thank you. Welcome.